Good evening, our top story. In a huge setback for the Aam Admi Party, the Delhi High Court ruled that Arvind Kejriwal's arrest in the Delhi liquor policy case is valid. The court dismissed the Chief Minister's petition against his arrest and said that his remand can't be called illegal. AAP said that they will move the Supreme Court and call the case the biggest political conspiracy. Meanwhile, the BJP is planning a protest demanding Chief Minister Kejriwal's resignation. In a big blow to the Aam Aadmi Party ahead of the general elections, the Delhi High Court today ruled that the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal will stay in jail for the time being. The court also dismissed Kejriwal's plea challenging his arrest by the Enforcement Directorate in the alleged liquor scam. Aam Aadmi Party said they are taking the battle to the Supreme Court. Some significant observations were made by the Delhi High Court today. The High Court said, referring to Kejriwal's plea before his arrest, that his statement be recorded virtually. The court said, investigation cannot be as per the convenience of the accused. The court also junked arguments that the arrest was politically motivated. The High Court said, they weren't looking at the centre versus Kejriwal matter, but at Arvind Kejriwal versus Enforcement Directorate. Different laws do not apply to the Chief Minister, the court also remarked adding that it had examined whether case Duval arrest was correct under law, not its timing. The High Court also said material collected by the Enforcement Directorate shows Arvind Kejriwal allegedly demanded a bribe. The court has also said that there is evidence and the evidence is money laundering and money trail. This is all the evidence in the judgment. जजमेंट में है अभी डीवा ये केजीवाल ने कहा कि एरेस गलत है कोर्ट ने उसकी उसकी जो दलील है उसकी जो पैसे वो खारिज कर दी बोले एरेस लीगल है मिनट्स आफ्टर डी हाई कोर्ट वर्डिक्ट अ डिफाइंड आम आदमी पार्टी रीटरेटेड देयर अर्लियर एलिगेशंस अबाउट अ पॉलिटिकल कॉन्स्पिरेसी वाल डी बीजेपी किसी भी जगह पे अब तक ईडी या सीबीआई को एक रुपए की भी गैर कानूनी रिकवरी नहीं हुई बार बार कोर्ट्स में ऑन रिकॉर्ड ये बात आई है कि गवाहों के ऊपर दबाव डाला गया आम आदमी पार्टी का अहंकार चकनाचूर हो गया है अहंकार ये था कि मुझे छूट नहीं चाहिए मुझे दूसरे को गलत साबित करना है इसलिए मैंने कहा कि वो अहंकार चूर चूर हो गया है स्पष्ट रूप से कोर्ट कह रहा है कि जो साक्ष्य दिए गए उससे प्रतीत होता है कि वह नीति बनाने में बाकायदा कंस्पायर्ड द एक्साइज पॉलिसी वाइल द कोर्ट हैज सेड दैट दे हैव लुक्ड एट द एंटायर मैटर फ्रॉम लीगल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू विद जस्ट फ्यू डेज लेफ्ट फॉर द इलेक्शन देर इज नो डाउट दैट केजरीवाल कंटिन्यूड इन कास्टेशन विल हैव अ मैसिव ब्लो for the Aam Aadmi Party at this crucial time. This is Ashwari Jain with Virgil Xavier Thomas for NDTV in Delhi. And for the first time, a political party was equated with a company in a significant operative part from the High Court order. The court opined that, and I quote, the definition of political party as per Section 2A, 2F of the Representation of Peoples Act is that a political party means an association or body of individuals. As per explanation 1 of section 70 of PMLA, a company also means an association of individuals. Now this comparison is very important because this in fact can pave the way for ED to make political parties accused in a money laundering case. To explain the importance of this further, I am joined by my colleague Eshwarya. Eshwarya, the fact that the court has made this comparison between a political party and a company, essentially likening the two, paves the way for ED to take further action against AAP, for instance, even book a political party in a PMLA case? Well, certainly, very, very important point mentioned in the order of uh, the Delhi High Court today. Uh, applicability of Section 70 of the PMLA uh, was under the debate. And uh, in regards to that, the applicability of Section 70 of the PMLA, it was uh, argued on behalf of the Enforcement Directorate that by virtue of Section 70 of the PMLA, a company also includes within its ambit an association of individuals and political party is an association of individual citizens as per the representation of People's Act 1951. And thus, Aam Army Party would be deemed to be company 
for the purpose of section 70 of pmla and the petitioner being its national convener would be in charge and responsible for its business thus being liable under section 70 subsection 1 of the pmla it was uh, on the other side abhishek manu singh bhi uh, on the other hand had argued that this argument of the respondent was misplaced and the liable to be rejected now in the order both of pmla section 70 and of the representation of people act what the definition of uh, uh, the company had been represented was mentioned and later it was uh, stated by the delhi high court that uh, the court it was in the opinion that the definition of political parties uh, as per section 2 subsection f of the representation of people's act the political party means association of body of individuals remember it was sb raju who categorically stated that they were uh, in uh, in in the view that aam aadmi party should be treated as a company in this particular case and arvind kejriwal being the national convener right. at the highest rank of national level he deals with day to day affairs of that company and therefore he should be found guilty right. under the offences punishable under section 4 of the pmla so certainly an historic one indeed uh, if the company if if uh, 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 the high court has found it is that a company then certainly right. enforcement act can then go ahead and attach the assets and properties of aam aadmi party in the near future as well right this would spell more trouble for aam aadmi party as a party in this case ashwarya thank you so much for joining us with that Shifting track to now election news Union Home Minister Amit Shah launched the BJP's Lok Sabha poll campaign in the northeast with a massive rally at Lakhimpur district of Upper Assam and then a road show in Tinsukia This is also the first visit of the Union Home Minister to Assam after the CAA rules were framed but he remained silent on CAA instead chose to raise the pitch around Ram Mandir and the abrogation of article 370 There you can see Union Home Minister Amit Shah leaving Tinsukia town after his massive road show at Tinsukia where hundreds of people gathered in support of BJP this is a massive show of strength of the BJP in Assam where there are 14 Lok Sabha seats where BJP is trying to win at least 13 seats with the help of its allies in fact today Amit Shah started his campaign from Lakhimpur where he held a rally he attacked the congress and then in tunsukia you can see hundreds of people here we have gathered this is an important town of assam seen as assam's commercial hub and particularly this town has a huge hindi speaking people population people from bihar and up a, a, apart from assamese people and therefore this multi ethnic society is something that the bjp is eyeing this is part of the dibrugarh constituency where bjp has fielded its heavyweight sarvanand sonwal and therefore perhaps the huge turnout that tinsukia has witnessed today in amishad rally would give a lot of hope to bjp ahead of the first phase of lok sabha polls in tinsukia with camp person sanjay chakravarti ratnip choudhary for ndtv Now the Allahabad High Court has said that the offences under the Pokso Act regarded as a special statute offences cannot be dismissed solely on the basis of a compromise between the accused and the victim. High Court made these observations while hearing the plea by accused in a minor ra- minor's rape case. The court said that the consent of a minor does not count while filing of the case then such a consent is also immaterial when it comes to a compromise. merely because the minor has later on agreed to enter into a compromise with the accused would not be sufficient to quash proceedings in this case remember the accused had moved court asking for quashing of the fir since a compromise has been reached meanwhile the election commission has directed probe into congress party's claims that union minister rajiv chandrasekhar declared false information in his affidavit filed for his nomination a complaint was lodged with the election commission of india against union minister rajiv chandrasekhar for submitting an alleged false affidavit in his lok sabha election nomination papers as per procedure the ec has directed the central uh, bureau of direct taxes to verify any mismatch in affidavit details submitted by mr chandrasekhar Congress had alleged that the had in fact alleged uh, and submitted uh, to the EC regarding mismatch in the actual and declared assets in the affidavit of uh, Rajiv Chandrasekhar BJP's candidate from Tiruvananthapuram
News now from Maharashtra and BJP gets an ally booster in the state as Raj Thakre, their minister chief, has finally cleared his stand. At a rally today, Raj Thakre said that he is supporting Prime Minister Modi in the Lok Sabha elections. In fact, he made it very clear that his support will go out to the Mahayuti uh, alliance only for the Prime Minister. Akhirkar, wahi hua, jiske ki umid thi, MNS Prabhuk Raj Thakre ne Mahayuti ko इस लोकसभा चुनाव में समर्थन दे दिया और यह कहते हुए दिया कि मैं बीजेपी एनसीपी अजित पवार और एकनाथ शिंदे शिवसेना का समर्थन कर रहा हूं लेकिन नरेंद्र मोदी के लिए समर्थन कर रहा हूं क्योंकि राज ठाकरे का यह मानना है कि देश में आज सबसे ज्यादा नौजवान हैं और यह जो लोकसभा चुनाव हुआ यह देश का भविष्य बदलने वाला है और अगर इसमें सही नेतृत्व नहीं मिला तो आगे जाके अराजकता अराजकता फैल सकती है और जो नौजवान हैं उनके लिए शिक्षा रोजगार और बाकी जो सुविधाएं अगर कोई दे सकता है तो बकौल राज ठाकरे वो नरेंद्र मोदी ही दे सकते हैं इसीलिए उन्होंने ये फैसला लिया है और ये भी साफ कर दिया उन्होंने कि वो इसके बदले में कुछ नहीं ले रहे हैं न तो लोकसभा की कोई सीट मांग रहे हैं न तो राज्यसभा की कोई सीट मांग रहे हैं और न ही विधानसभा विधान परिषद की सीट मांग रहे हैं लेकिन ये जरूर कहा कि अपने समर्थकों को कि विधानसभा के चुनाव के लिए तैयार रही है यानी कि आज जो समर्थन दे रहे हैं उसके पीछे कहीं न कहीं विधानसभा में उन्हें मदद मिलेगी एक संकेत जरूर उन्होंने दे दिया है और उन्होंने कहा कि तैयार रहिए हालांकि उन्होंने स्पष्ट किया कि मीडिया की तरफ इशारा करते हुए बोलने के बोलने के दौरान कि किसी से मिलने जाओ तो ये कुछ भी अपने मन से कल्पना करके कहानी बना देते हैं और हर जगह पीछे लगे रहते हैं जबकि सच्चाई कुछ और होती है और उन्होंने ये भी कहा कि मिलना मिलाना कोई में कोई बुराई नहीं है वो अमित शाह से मिलने गए थे क्यों गए थे ये इन्होंने सिलसिलेवार तरीके से समझाया क्योंकि जो राज्य के मुख्यमंत्री हैं एक नाथ शिंदे वो जब वो भी जब इनसे मिला करते थे तब कहते थे हम सबको मिलकर काम करना चाहिए गृह मंत्री देवेंद्र फडणवीस मिलकर जब मिलते थे तब कहते थे मिलकर काम करना चाहिए लेकिन क्या करना चाहिए ये स्पष्ट नहीं हो रहा था लिहाजा इसके लिए अमित शाह के पास गए और तब वहाँ जाके शायद उनकी कुछ बातें साफ हुई होगी हालांकि उनके बीच में क्या बात हुई बहुत स्पष्ट तौर पर उन्होंने नहीं कहा उन्होंने यही कहा कि जो भी बातें हुई है अमित शाह और मेरे बीच वो सिर्फ मुझे पता है लेकिन मीडिया कुछ भी चला रही है On to one of our election segments and focusing on a hot seat constituency. Today's focus is on Anant Nag in Kashmir. Remember, this is the first major election in Kashmir after the abrogation of Article 370. This is the first major election in Kashmir since the revocation of Article 370 and political parties are grappling with the reality of new electoral map as the delimitation exercise has drastically redrawn electoral boundaries in Jammu and Kashmir. These mountains divide one part of Anantnag parliamentary seat from the other part in Poonch and Rajouri. In between is Shopian district which has been made part of Srinagar parliamentary seat. So there is clear geographical disconnect within Anantnag parliamentary seat. Traversing these mountains would be the biggest challenge for parties as they campaign in two disconnected regions that form the Anantnag Rajouri parliament seat in Jammu and Kashmir. While the Mughal road has been partially opened this week after remaining closed in the winter, even a little drizzle closes this fair weather road. So a candidate in Anantnag has to travel over 500 kilometers via Jammu to reach the other part of the constituency in Rajouri Poonch. Logon ke liye bhi kal bahut mushkil hai number parliament ko dhoondna yahan se Jammu pahunchna hai aur wahan se fir Rajouri jana hai jo rasta beech mein hai wo to fair weather hi road hai ye jo delimitation hui hai aur delimitation mein to overall Jammu Kashmir ko tahas nahas kiya gaya bulldoze kiya gaya hai और ये साउथ की जो पार्लियामेंट्री कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी है इसको तो ज्यादा तबाह और बर्बाद किया है जीत हमारी अब के बाद आजाद सरकार के बाद इवन बिफोर कैंपेनिंग पिक्स अप इन अनंतनाग इट्स हाई प्रोफाइल कैंडिडेट गुलाम नबी आजाद हैज इंडिकेटेड दैट ही मे पुल आउट ऑफ द रेस व्हिच कुड बी हिज फर्स्ट टेस्ट ऑफ पॉपुलैरिटी आफ्टर एग्जिटिंग कांग्रेस द इंडिया अलायंस इज आल्सो फ्रैक्चर्ड हियर While both National Conference and Mehbooba Mufti's PDP are part of the alliance, the Congress has chosen to side with the NC, leaving Mehbooba Mufti to fight a lone battle, even as her party is in tatters since the revocation of Article 370. Mehbooba Mufti says her party has been the main target of the BJP. 2019 के बाद सबसे बड़ी अब निशाना अगर किसी को बनाया तो PDP को बनाया। किस तरह उसको तोड़ा गया? किस तरह हमारे लीडरों को उसको लालच दे के उसको ब्लैक निकाला दो हजार उन्नीस से मैंने कोशिश की है 
ان کے ظلم کے خلاف آواز اٹھانا اس کے لیے بہت سی مجھے اذیت سہنی پڑی دیانت ناگ رجوری کنسٹیچوئنسی از اسپریڈ اوور فور ڈسٹرکٹس وتھ 17 لاکھ ووٹرز فرام ڈفرنٹ ایتھنک بیک گراؤنڈز دا نیشنل کانفرنس ہیز فیلڈڈ اٹس پاپولر گجر لیڈر میاں الطاف احمد گیون دا سائزیبل گجر ووٹس آن بوتھ سائیڈز اف دا پیر پنجل ماؤنٹینز دا پارٹی از آلسو پروجیکٹنگ اٹس سیٹ شیئرنگ وتھ دا کانگریس ایز کریڈنشیلز اف بینگ ٹرولی اینٹی بی جے پی ان کشمیر ویر ایوری پارٹی اکیوزز اٹس اپوننٹ از بی جے پی اس ٹیم بی ہم مل کے ہماری مکمل کوشش ہوگی کہ جموں کشمیر لداخ کی چھ کی چھ سیٹوں پہ انڈیا الائنس کی جو یہ ہماری چھ امیدوار ہیں ہم یہاں سے کامیاب ہو کے اگلے پارلیمنٹ میں جموں کشمیر لداخ کے لوگوں کی جو ان کے جذبات ہیں ان کی ہم صحیح معنی میں وہاں پہ ترجمانی کر سکیں The BJP is still undecided if it will field a candidate or back its informal ally, Apni Party, which has fielded a candidate from the ST community. The BJP is hoping the scheduled tribe reservation given to the Pahari community, which forms a large chunk of voters in Poonch and Rajouri districts, will pay electoral dividends. While campaigning in Atna constituency is still subdued, it appears to be a triangular contest between PDP, National Conference and a BJP-backed candidate. Anantnag Rajouri seat is not just a high stake battle for the parliament elections its results will also shape political landscape in Kashmir ahead of next assembly elections in South Kashmir Nazir Masoodi for NDTV We'll head into a short break at this point more news and updates on the other side stay tuned Time for some election related news and JJP chief Ajay Chautala faced opposition from farmers in a village in Bhiwani uh, Haryana during his campaign trail farmers blocked his vehicle in fact they barred Chautala's entry into the village as a result uh, the JJP chief convoy had to turn back Congress leader camp, uh, Sachin Pilot campaigned in Dosa in support of Congress candidate Mur- Murli Lal Meena and during the campaign rally he wore the traditional headgear turban after trending for tying the Rajasthani Safa in record time he did it again in Dosa during a public meeting Sachin Pilot wore a 51 meter long turban Ahead of the upcoming general election and to support BJP MP candidates in Assam, Union Home Minister Amit Shah and Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma held a road show in Tinsukhoya, Assam. This was the Union Home Minister's first campaign in the North. EIA DMK General Secretary Edapati Palani Sami visited the vegetable market in Tamil Nadu, Madurai, interacted with farmers and traders at the market in Mattu Thavani while campaigning for Madurai Lok Sabha AI DMK candidate P. Sarvanan. He trained guns at DMK alleging that DMK's poll promises are false and after the election, DMK will forget all about them. Shifting focus now to an NDTV exclusive with Congress leader Sachin Pilot who said that the party will do much better than the last elections. But can Sachin Pilot and Ashok Gailut put their differences behind for the party? A lot of these candidates are yours also. I mean, personally, I think you pitched for a lot of the candidates. I mean, they, I, we can see that your um, sort of, uh, you know, mark on some of them. Anil as a young candidate, uh, Murari Lal Meena. So some of these people are your candidates. Harish Meena, uh, are you sort of personally going to uh, bat for them? All 25 candidates are our candidates. It is true. I've always advocated for younger people to get opportunities. I think if the party gives young people a chance, the voters reward that decision why you and ashok ji reluctant to fight not at all not at all where is the reluctance i fought as parliament elections before i fought assembly 3 months ago so whatever the party decides for us to do we do that uh, the ultimate decision lies in delhi but i have been given a charge of a state which again is an important state see all the states where there is a bipolar contest between congress bjp that's where we have to do better because that's where last two terms we haven't performed very well So if we increase our strike rate in a bipolar contest in these heartland states, that will be the game changer for the 2024 election results and we all focus on that. What about the internal 
dynamics of the Congress's campaign in Rajasthan. Because last time around, I remember there was a lot of criticism and your government was in power. There was criticism from even within the party that, you know, the, the chief minister had focused only on his son's constituency. The campaign had not been cohesive. So what is, has that been resolved now? How do you see it now? Look, it's natural if someone's son or daughter is contesting. Obviously, you know, you want to make sure that seat we win. But I think we are focused on all seats. It's unfair to say that Mr. Gilot is focusing only in son's seat. He's campaigning in other areas also. Um, but yes, that seat is also important. It's a tough seat for us. And uh, we'll win that seat. Now, after being pulled up by the Supreme Court on several occasions, Yoga Guru Ram Dev and his company Patanjali, Ayurveda's managing director, Acharya Balakrishna, have submitted an unconditional apology to the court for not abiding by the undertaking given to it in the misleading advertisements case. Supreme Court will take up the matter for hearing again on Wednesday. Baba Ram Dev and Mr. Balakrishna have been asked to remain present for the hearing. On April 2nd, the court had given a last opportunity to Ramdev and Mr. Balakrishna to file a proper affidavit within a week and said that the earlier apology filed by them was incomplete and mere lip service. And with that, it's a wrap from my side. Keep watching NDTV for more news and updates.